Greetings friends and welcome on my channel. My name is Gamekeeper and today I am bringing you the special episode of 300 series. Because we reached 200 episodes in the series I decide to record special one. Uh, the special episode in which we will walk through through Mindbase and Space Center because not everybody have time to watch all 200 episodes and we also remember some major events from the beginning of this series the 300 it's combination of three major extensions for factorio especially it's a crustorio 2 with space exploration with small add-on of aai industry and now let's do the walkthrough right now i am standing beside the wreckage of the spaceship in which we crash on this planet and right after we step out on this planet we was hit by a uh, solar flares yeah and i must say it wasn't pleasant surprise oh we already having the solar flares oh awesome this this is one of the beautiful uh space exploration features yeah yeah it definitely wasn't but after we shake off that first surprise moment we start to building our first burning city in this area right now we have concrete everywhere but in those days we had several patches as you can see we have still a the little bit from those patches over here we have small stone over there and coal and actually under this wreckage we have on this place when right now we have some fusion power plants was decent patch with iron on which we place some first burners i need some assemblers okay we need to wait because i need to build all of these uh, but uh, after we collect enough resources we start to building i think over here somewhere yeah nearby those cliffs maybe there was more cliffs over here i don't know let's say in general in this area maybe a little bit more to the left we start to building the first mall or shop or whatever you want to say just the first production necessary to continue with our base you can make uh, every belt in a lot of belt oh. okay but i can prioritize some of these belts i think like this right yeah when i need it and i need them because uh, I still don't have everything automatic in automatic uh, way. Uh, okay. Iron gears, automation cores. I need more automation cores. I think somewhere right here should be. Oh, here is the full belt belt of automation cores. I know, knew it. Also, I remember the funny story when we built that first mall that I was almost killed by a meteorite. Uh... Oh my goodness. I just have a heart attack. Oh my goodness. Okay. This was really helpful. Thank you. And that wasn't the first time when I almost die in this gameplay. So, yeah, it's quite dangerous sometimes. Oh, see that meteorite? Oh, that was close. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. 
Oh, uh, that was close. Again, no? Stupid robots, don't put the uranium in... No, 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 no. Quick. Need some med packs. That was close. Yeah, uranium can be very dangerous in this game. Especially we are talking about biters. And the biters, even though they are basics, I mean, they are normal, they are not updated on change anyway, they can be quite difficult sometimes. Definitely too close. This is bad, this is very bad. No! Hey, biters! Why don't you die already? Okay, this is significantly damage. Don't do this. Can I, I stop st stepping into the acid constantly? No, I don't think so. Ow, ow. I'm almost dead, you stupid spitters. How big this? I'm out of these. My goodness, stupid. This is totally different level of attacking, uh, level of damage. Hey, you stupid spitters. Yeah, yeah, you will die. Oh, you will die. You will also die. Oh, that was. That hurt. I need to be more careful with this. Ammunition. Oh. Okay. And you. Oh, 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 oh. I am almost dead. I am almost dead. Help me. I don't have my blue belt. It is. Yeah, yeah. Downgrade these lanes. Oi. Okay. Thank you. I need that attack. Oh my goodness, this is huge. Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, base. Carefully, carefully. Uh, big worm, okay, another big worm. I need to turn these robots, they are sacrificing their lives for nothing. Oh! Oh! That was a mistake, big mistake, yeah. With my tank, I think. Where is that sword? Over there. Ooh, ooh, that's a lot of lots of biters. Oh, happy lasers. Okay, okay, they are very dangerous in that count. That amount. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is that. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, 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 run on that. This is 
Big Worms. Okay, and my turn is almost done. Okay. Run. Run. Help me, lasers. Okay, thank you, lasers. And then repair. Yeah. I die a few times. I need to admit that, but they are biters and they are biting. What else I can say for that? Anyway, let's continue with our tour. After we prepare for all that, we start to build the first smelter. Yeah, the proper smelter setup. So now we can go back and set the proper recipes for every of these smelters i think i need four smelters for copper four smelters for iron plate one two three four and another four one two three four which will be uh, uh, working like uh, suppliers of iron plates to our future recently i updated the copper and iron part of that smelter into those into these best uh, furnaces in the tech tree so right now we cannot see how everything looks in that days but uh for for help your imagination these two production line these two smelters are actually the original ones with the stone furnaces yeah i don't know why i didn't update those but they produce enough coke so it's actually fine the rest of the smelter was at least extended or updated into the steel smelters as you can see okay we have a lot of smelters because we need to produce uh, a lot of products because in crustorio 2 you need besides the normal steel iron and copper also glass and silicon and rare metals and coke and so on and so on so we have four lanes of glass four lanes of uh, silicon to produce some crystals to produce some uh, circuits with all that we also needed to build some production for wood yeah you are hearing right in the cross story too you need lots of wood for lots of things so you need to use these greenhouses to produce wood in large numbers this one is only to mix with the with the <coughs> coal to produce uh, coke for production of steel but the real deal is down here as you can see we have lots of those crushers to produce uh, crystals and sand to produce lots of lots of lots of as you can see on this minimap lots of wood we have like three or four hundred of these greenhouses to produce in wood because wood is the main ingredient for green circuits and as you know green circuits are main components of red circuits and so on also you need wood for something else i think i can remember right now but we saw this main smelter of the main base if we move a little bit into the right, then we can see these two add-on smelters for production of steel. This was also updated, I think like 100 episodes back, maybe something like that, because these are using the mid-game AI industrial furnaces. These are fine. I left them like this. After we built our smelter setup we start to build the bus yeah i am using bus system on this base and if we look on the map uh, you can see that 
quite a huge bus because we have at least four lanes for all major products or ingredients here are for example those electronic components which we also need in the high numbers and i still using for those uh, yellow belt because it's still catching up so why to update that right yeah uh, so after we build the bus we need to build one most important thing on this in this part of the base and i am talking about the mall okay uh, we are over here okay we already having some This is for... Really? No. That's wrong. I should have something else on these belts, I think. Uh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. So... I need... I need to look at my blueprint. We did some mistakes. Or I did some mistakes. Sorry, guys. Uh, I am not seeing what for this belt is. I definitely need to cut off that. Why I think I should put copper over on this looking belt. With the mall, we also need to build some subsidiary or or production only for that mall we needed concrete we needed bricks we needed uh ingots steel ingots plates steel plates and so on and so so all these machines all these production lines are actually only for our mall including production of motors and electric motors but this is updated version of those production lanes originally they was a little bit uh, longer up there somewhere also i think right now we are not using engines for anything but in previous version of crustorio 2 some of those recipes was different so we also produce uh, normal and electric engines now we are using only motors something like that and you can check that in change lock of Crustory too if you want, but it's boring. Anyway, this is my mall. It's not originally mine. I just take someone else Crustory to mall and update his version. I publicly saying that and also I am giving credits to the original creator. It's not my mall. I have it in my blueprints, but it's called... No, this is wrong mall, sorry. It's called... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mall by Malakai. And I just did some changes because Cruster to change some recipe. And also I am using AI industry, so you need to start with burner types of everything. Burner, miners, burner... Uh, as assembler machines, burner labs, and so on. So you need to add some of those things into that mall. Yeah, actually the burner labs are <coughs> placed manually, not automatically. But other things are. Also in these areas I have now some add-on production like meteor defense cannons and centrifuges and so on. Originally, everything ends in this lane where you can see those constant combinators. Anyway, mall you can find in the blueprint box under this video. So, if you want to use it, be my guest. Okay, and after we build the mall, we can finally start to do some science, some proper science, because right now, after that, we have enough ingredients 
to continue with build of this base. Also, this is curiosity because this is so-called umbrella, which is defending the whole planet against solar flares. And it wasn't easy peasy task. Are doing this? Okay. Okay, it seems to working. It's glowing or something like that. Now I see. Oh, what's happening? Okay. Okay. What happened? Oh, see. Why it's not? Why it's not helping? This is bad. Ooh, a whole production of light entity structures. Uh, okay. What else was damaged? Uh, because I don't see anything. I bet it was. Yeah. Now I know why it's not working. We don't have enough electricity for that. We need at least four gigawatts. And right we, now we are using only. We are producing only 1.5 or something like that. Yeah. I didn't see that. So, now we are smarter. Come on. Stop hitting my. Ooh, stop. Stop. No. No. Stupid robots. They die all in heroic That. Okay, and it's over hopefully. No, I am seeing another one over here. That's only in our walls. Yeah, at the beginning I didn't know how to work with this machine. So maybe we hit some damage by those flares. But in the later games I figured out that I need definitely more energy. So the umbrella started working properly. Any damage? Uh, these are all the good night biters. And how is doing our shield? It's glowing. It's a good or bad thing? Okay, sorry, it's glowing. And it seems to me that it's working. Yeah, but rig gigawatts. Okay, it's eating all these corona, th that corona energy, yeah? and all our nuclear reactors are oh, running like hell. Okay, and then now we are drawing accumulator energy, the energy stored in one more. But this don't even end. What the hell? Okay. And we are good. It's going down. Guys, it seems to be working. Yeah. And we survive corona mass ejection without damage, which is great. So, magic number is like 5 gigawatts of electricity, yeah. It was a good idea to put lots of accumulators also. Yeah, and then we are going down. Okay, let's move a little bit to the right when we are having uh, more subsidiary or uh, add-on production only for that wall like this uh, I don't know what that is right now yeah automation cores engines yeah see these are electric motors but originally we also produce electric engines the, those are gone so here ending all that production for wall so it's a, it's a quite lot of production if you can look from the 
satellite view it's all that with all this and a little bit over there okay after we build that mall we can start finally do the proper science so now we have proper science we have basic cards these are automation these are i don't know logistic and so on so in Crastorio 2 you are not using flask you are using cards but color are actually i think almost the same and also the function of those cards so each cards give you better and better technologies and the science actually ending uh over here when we have the last production this optimization tech cars of oh, utility tech cars sorry and that's all science which you can uh, produce at the beginning of the space exploration on the planet after those after that tier of science you need to go into the space which is for different video, I think. Okay, let's quickly move down and check what I built over there. I should conclude more of that base, right? Okay, so we begin at the, uh, uh, the beginning of this part. Yeah, here we are producing those electronic components. That's a quite a huge build because we need four belts even though they are yellow belts and I maybe right now ca can uh, refactor all that into the few machines but we have better things to do also after that we have production of green cards this is actually already reduce and speed up with beacons and sp production modules so it's a little bit modern build this one is completely original one and this also could be updated even more but as you can see the belts are buffered so it's producing enough after red cards of course we have after green cards we have red cards red cards are also rebuilt already from the original production so yeah and after that we have completely modern production of batteries which i need to rebuild recently because batteries are one of the components for uh, rocket control units and we still using rocket control units from the main base after that we have some basic accumulators and solar panels just for some recipes and then here we have a little bit modernish blue card production yeah, yeah, yeah i'm still using tier 3 uh, assemblers over here even though in this stage of game i already have these advanced assemblers which are much much faster yeah yeah but it's working so uh, it's not a problem then we have small production of rocket fuel only for that first rocket which is sending the base deck satellites uh, you know the rocket which is actually from vanilla factorio Hooray! okay now we done the first milestone of our gameplay and also we have some information about our surroundings so we know this is Calidus sun and this is now is where we are and this is Daemonia which is some other planet in this system then we have some light density structure also for the rocket and for the basic science tree of vanilla factorio then we have some uh, rocket control unit production originally i think i have only one lane and not speed up with those white arab beacon from space 
But right now we have a little bit more demands for that and what the hell I have of that part of piece of the belt over here. Uh, okay, anyway, this is working. This is producing like eight per second. So it's fine and uh, quick enough production for our purposes. After that, we have production of heat shielding also only mostly, I think only for the vanilla rocket. Yeah, we need to send those the, the normal rocket into the space to retrieve some special navigation data which can produce and I see error over there okay uh, which can produce uh, the rocket control science packs which are the first science packs in the space so after you end up after you end all the science on the ground with those utility tech card you will go to the space and the first science cars for the space are the rocket rocket space cars or actually these call different story yeah you can find that in space exploration mode also, the difference between Vanilla and the Crustoria 2, it's actually that, that you need for heat shielding to produce some stone tables. Or there is actually maybe even the alternative recipe, but I am using that one. So, what's left in this part of the base are actually production of modules. We are producing speed modules, all three tiers. Actually, in this in this combination of mods, we can produce, I think, eight tiers. But here we are producing the normal vanilla three tier of speed modules. Even though they are looking different, they have the same function. So speed modules, production modules, and efficiency modules, which are used mostly only for exoskeletons and few recipes. I can remember for which right now. Anyway, this is the end of the main base. Actually, the main, main part of the main base. It's the end of the bus, but few of those belts continue into the next section, and we will, we will look at that uh, after a moment. But first, uh, I would like to show you yeah we have this production of oxygen uh the chemical production which is over here uh, and it's also quite large yeah i always try to dimension everything for later use so we don't even use like third of those productions Okay, we have heavy oil cracking, light oil cracking, and up here we have some loop production and sulfur acid production with plastic production. These two are just dedicated only for production of electronic component. This one is for bus because I needed some plastic somewhere else. Also over here, this is our first proper mining setup for rare metals. And for that we are producing, uh, this is chlorine, and we're burning that extra uh, oxygen? Hydrogen, yeah, yeah, we don't need hydrogen anywhere, so I am burning it into the atmosphere with other things which I am burning everywhere and causing a lot of lots of pollution. Okay, the last part of the mine beds is energy section. We start up there uh, over here with normal cold uh, setup, cold, cold steam setup, as you know from Vanilla Factor. Then we move into the nuclear. So we have right now nine nuclear power plants. Each nuclear power plant, uh, I need to do those. 
each nuclear power plants using two reactors and lots of lots of steam turbines you can find the blueprint of this power plant under this video again and originally we have we reach i think 12 and after that i trim three of those because i need more space for better power plants and i am talking about those fusion reactor power plants each of these can produce one gigawatt of power but sadly it's eating half of gigawatt to run so you need to be very careful and you cannot produce uh, you cannot run those without any other power resource. So I need to leave all those nuclear fusion reactors to run because we need that power to start those. Yeah, even that you can start one fusion reactor with another, but it's not so easy and we already have like two major electric uh, problems uh, i am talking about uh, we completely lost electricity and biters start to chewing through our walls and through our machines and everything was in so everything was so chaotic and pro yeah yeah so mm, just be very careful if you are using fusion power because you need always the, another source of electricity to help the fusion power to start or run constantly. Okay, so right now I add like, as you can see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 13, 15 fusion reactor or power plants each producing 50, 1 gigawatt of power over here and 4 more over there so yeah we are producing lots of electricity and the number of the fusion reactor is actually my reaction to the last power outbreak but they are using only 2.1 gigawatts right okay because we don't produce more so the problem is with the nuclear no with the fusion reactors they don't have enough energy to restart the, the production okay that, that that's a big problem uh, so we reach the threshold of how much energy we can Produce. Give me that. We need to first cut all those. All those. Give me that. Here we go. We should have at least a little bit power from nuclear. No, nuclear is gone. Okay. And these should produce some energy but they are not connected each other like that come on i need water we have water where is my steam that's enough water so what is your problem shut up we are still connected to the whole network oh my god that's bad, that's really bad. Oh, over here. So what happened over here? We have enough. Oh, those pumps are not working at all. And we are out of solar energy almost. God damn it. Where we are connected into the global network. And not there, not there over here everywhere okay so i need to cut this whole part like that oh no we are out of sun god damn it right now come on yes this is not working why is this not working 
We have energy. God damn it, where we are connected to that main grid. Not here, not here. We cut. Oh, over there. Over there is our problem. We need to restart the nuclear energy and then we can restart this. Here we go. This should help. Oh, okay. All those are working. So these are not working because we don't have any. We are still connected to the main grid. Stupid cables. I don't see where. Oh, through this. Oh, I see. Okay. These solar panels will definitely work if we do. Uh, if we cut all those. And here it goes. Now we should have energy. Uh, no, over there. Give me that. Anywhere else? Yeah, through the whole mining. Oh! What about now? Yeah, now we're producing energy. At least some of energy. 10 gigawatts. Okay. And where the hell? I have energy. Please restart. No. One point four. They should start already. Not over there. Okay, we don't connect those two parts of the. Now, here we go. Okay. Now, can I connect this back to the main grid? Give me that. Not for long. Yeah. Okay. Also, uh, I place this small uh, flat solar panel array to at least help a little bit to those uh, over plants. Yeah, and these can actually produce like if sun is shining like four or six gigawatts of electricity together but right now we are at the night so they are producing nothing but still we have uh, fusion power plants and also right now we have even antimatter but we get there later okay that's it i think i said everything about oh also we have here production the covarex process this and the covarex process in this mode is completely different than the covarex process in the vanilla so you constantly need to add the dollar rocks into the process and it's slowly going away but we was able to save lots of lots of those so we are mostly uh, recycling those doll, doll rocks from this storage over there at least for now we have one patch which start like at 7 million of uranium ore and now have like 2.7 so we still have lots of that in in the ground also right now we have another production over here which is designated production for dedicated production for fusion pellets for those fusion reactors yeah. and this is also quite difficult to produce and using the shiny rocks so maybe to stay with nuclear power especially after some updates of Crustorio 2 because I remember when these can produce 2 gigawatts it's not so bad idea maybe because each of those nuclear reactors can produce 250 megawatts so if you put four of those you can produce the same amount of electricity like this power plant without the necessity to still hold somewhere some extra power in case 
that you are out of steam. Okay. Uh, also, I can say you about resources. Yeah, we start over here and mine some patches as I show you at the beginning. Then we move a little bit up. Then we move even more up. Then we add this patch and that patch. And after after many and many and many smelted ores, we run out in the re in decent uh, area in decent distance. So we need to build train tracks and bring ores from a little bit uh, more distance patches from distant patches like over there but these are huge because i said uh, at the beginning of this gameplay the game to produce big and rich patches okay and now i will move into the next area and tell you something about space center <laughs> yeah because before we go into the space we need to prepare for it. but that will need to wait until the next special episode originally i plan to do walk through through the whole base on an always i mean the main part even the space center but because this video is already long enough i will leave it like that and i will continue with this walkthrough in another special episode maybe in i don't know 250th episode or something like that no i think it will be sooner i already working on that and un so until then Thank you all for watching, thank you all for your support, comments and advice, and I hope we see each other in the next special episode, or maybe in the normal one. It's up to you. So, bye!